I'd just like to show you a, a simple technique for uh, cutting out a, a piece of leather to use as an onlay. Um, first and foremost, the, the leather itself uh, that you choose for the onlay needs to be uh, very thin. Um, there are two main kinds of onlays. There's the onlay which you basically just stick on, on the front of the leather and um, that's kind of it really. You know, may, <clears throat> maybe you'll tool around it or something. Uh, the other type is the back paired onlay which is where that goes on top of the leather. The leather is turned over, it's pressed and the, the lump that appears on the back of the leather is uh, paired off. But um, for the purpose of this um, demonstration I just want to show you uh, the technique for actually just cutting the leather out which is sounds straightforward but there are uh, certain techniques which help with that. Um, so the leather I'm using is a piece of goat skin it's, it's already been pared down to about 0.4-ish millimetres something like that uh, and I've got a simple design which I want to use to, to cut out. So the way to do this is to cut around your design this is obviously a simple one for demonstration purposes, but um, you know they can be quite complicated and detailed. These uh, these designs. Um, I then need a piece of leather which is slightly larger than that, so of the thickness that we want. We'll have that piece there. The design goes on top of the leather. The leather is face up as you can see. And then I'm just going to sellotape that in position. On a piece of board, the sellotape goes all the way over it. So it is held very firmly in position like that. I can now cut through both the paper and the leather in one go without it moving. Um, so I'll just do this quickly just to illustrate it. The design I've used I've just drawn with a pen but of course you can print something out um, and use it and I've, print, I've actually used some quite thin paper. If you get too thick paper sometimes you have slight problems in being accurate when you're cutting. Um, but essentially anything will do. So there I've cut it out and of course I've cut through the leather so there is my onlay and that can then just be uh, pasted onto a piece of leather um, pressed uh, and you know maybe back paired if that's the way you're going to go but essentially it's a real simple way of getting a very accurate piece of leather cut. Um, what you might want to do if depending on how thick your leather is is actually just edge pair the edges along this even though it's very thin if you can edge pair it it avoids any uh, ugliness at the at the edge when it's in position on your book but um, that's how to cut out a, a template of a piece of leather for onlays